up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl jade we are just raw dogging it today no makeup because as you can see your girl is breaking out moving on to the next thing because i know i keep talking about it everybody's probably like girl please just shut up i've never had to deal with this before so it's a little scary but it's fine we're still beautiful we still look good they're just accessories what do you mean stop it i forgot my camera so i'm filming on my phone not that you guys care maybe you do i don't know i'm about to go into the gym pretty girls go to the gym okay go to the gym i don't know like i literally never used to go to the gym right like i used to always i used to hate my body i used to always just talk down on myself i literally never loved my body now hello i just got back from miami and my body in that bathing suit i literally was like who is that because now like the whole time I've been going to the gym, like, I don't really focus on, like, what my body looks like. I just focus on making sure that I go and that I execute. But when I reaped the rewards in Miami, when I saw myself in the bathing suit, I was like, oh my gosh, like, all this hard work is paying off. Like, I was stunned, honestly. So I've been going to the gym since February. It's November. So is that February? That's eight months? February? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's nine months. It's about to be a full year. Like, can you imagine if I continue to go? I can. I can't, but I can. Like, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, even if it's 20, even if it's five, if you're not used to it, just go hit that 12, 3, 30 for 30 minutes. Do it. You might need to start at 10 because it's a little intense. I am just like, oh, I have never been so happy. Like, that's the sound of this wagon here. It'd be like turning stuff off. I don't know. But like, if you're not going to the gym already, like, I, I just, I promise you, it is going to be one of the best things you've ever done for yourself. Like, seriously, the gym, it's going to help your mental. It's going to help your physical, everything. Emotional, it might mess with it a little bit because you're, there's going to be days where you're going to be like, I just want to beat this gym up. Like, I don't want to be here. But that's what it's for. It's like a coach. The coach that is, like, really tough on you, but you love them for it. That's what the gym is. Okay? Also, today I have to go wash my car. I have to go get groceries. We are the highest version of ourselves today. I am my alter ego. This is Jade in the future today. We're gonna go get this shit done. We're gonna be happy about it. We're gonna watch a YouTube video about like feminine energy or maybe a financial video. I don't know. I feel like I need to start making content that I like to watch. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not, I don't like to watch people go to the grocery store all the time. I don't, I don't even know if I watch, okay. I think I watch that more on like TikTok, but like a lot of the videos that I watch on here are about like self-improvement and being your best self because that's all I'm worried about, okay? Like I want to be my best self. I want to be in my feminine energy. I want to be the absolute best version of myself. And the only way I can do that is by watching like positive motivating videos. So I hope that that's what this video is for you guys because pookie. <laughs> stop i just feel like i ramble a lot with my words so i don't know if i'm like fully there to do that type of videos yet i've done them before because i crave that type of like knowledge and information and i love educating myself on like how to be the best version of myself we're about to go in here i'm gonna do leg day so we're gonna do 10 minutes on the i really it's too cold i was gonna say i want to walk outside but i don't i'm gonna do 10 minutes well, 10 to 15 minutes warm up it just depends on like if I'm in the groove. If I don't want to get off that treadmill, I'm not getting off. I'm just gonna listen to music and buy a bell. 10 to 15 minutes warm up on this treadmill. Then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do. Like, can you spit it out? No? Okay, we'll sit here for a second. I'm telling you that bloom pre workout will have you like. <laughs> okay, anyways, get to the chase, get to the point. Oh my gosh. Okay, imagine somebody's watching me. I have crust. Why is my y'all kiss did something with that lash glue? Be peeling my eyelids off. That is not normal. Okay, anywho, actually, this girl told me to speak good things into my water, so I'm about to do that right now. Beautiful skin, big fat booty, beautiful crystal skin. Beautiful skin, beautiful skin, beautiful skin. No pimples, no acne. Beautiful skin. Miracle water in my body. Mm, I feel it clearing up already. Okay, so we're going to go on the treadmill for a little bit. Okay, then... 
we're gonna do RDLs with the Smith machine. If the Smith machine's taken, we're gonna have to do weights. I don't like doing them like that. I like the Smith machine because I like the Smith machine. Okay. Then we're gonna do hip thrusts. I fucking hate the hip thrusts, but it's fine. We're gonna do hip thrusts. Our emotions don't control us, and so we're gonna do them regardless if we like to or not. So hip thrusts. Then we're gonna do Bulgarian split squats. That's what we're gonna do, right, Jade? Right? Because you like to skip those. Then we're gonna do those things with your legs, the core workout, like where you're laying down, you put your legs up in the air and they go down and up and down and up. We're gonna do those. And why are you yelling? Like it's just you in the car. Calm down. Damn. Okay, then we're gonna do. Uh, uh. I gotta go to the bathroom because that damn pre workout. I need some gum. And then we're gonna do the stairmaster for 10 minutos. Got it? Got it. Let's do this. It's clearing up already. I was good to you. just had a bomb workout this hair i'm literally about to yank it out my hairstylist told me not to and i was convicted of something while i was working out because it's something that like i struggle with so bad on a daily basis and that is like it's just not being in my present like i'm always thinking like five days ahead like you literally need to and i'm talking to myself you need to slow down feel what is around you feel and calm down because every time and I'm gonna try to like take it back and talk slower and everything because I feel like I'm always just like racing and racing and racing through every single day. And I'm like, I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this. And it's like, girl, if you live your whole life like this, it's gonna flash by and you're gonna be 40. Like you need to just slow down, take the clock, turn it back a little bit and just slow down. Appreciate what you have, appreciate where you're at in life and just slow down because every time i go into the gym i'm like i get overwhelmed and if there's a lot of people then i'm like oh my gosh like i have to hurry up i have to leave they're over there using that thing that i need go stretch wait what like just calm down so today i told you guys there were so many times first of all i had a great workout but i had to push through because there were so many times that i was so overwhelmed that i just wanted to leave like I literally was like, I can't do this. Like, there's somebody in every corner and it's like, they pay to be here too. Just like you do. Just like when you're, you, you're using something, somebody's probably like, dang, like I'm waiting for her to finish. So just go do something else, even if it's stretching while they're using the machine that you need. So, cause normally like if somebody's using, like if, okay, so you guys know like the hip abductor things that you sit in and you push your legs out. Like if that's being used and then I go down to the Smith machine and that's also being used and then the whole grass pad where you can stretch is like, full i'm like well fuck like i'm just not gonna work out i'm just gonna go because like i'm a burden like i'm in everyone's way and it's like no you deserve to be there too you just need to slow down you don't you have other stuff that you have to do yes but you have the luxury of one not having to have prince in a daycare with a two hour like time limit you have the day to do what you need to do being there and stretching you need to stretch use that time to stretch use that time to go do freaking jumping jacks go do something else like you are not bound to do like everything in order every single time or by the certain time that you want to do it like no you have a whole day to do what you need to do so just calm down take a deep breath take a step back and chill out and do what you need to do and i had a great workout because when the smith machine was taken i was like well fuck like i guess i'm just about to hurry up and do these ab workouts and I go no but i literally did the hip abductor machine 
I, while I was waiting for the Smith machine, I was stretching so good because I needed to stretch. Like my muscles were really tense and they were hurting. I forget what they're called. Where you do like the leg raises with your legs like I was talking about. I did those. Then I did the ones where you do your feet this way, your legs that way for your core. Because I missed yesterday because I was editing. I don't know. Like I just, I was praying all morning and I was telling God to just speak to me. Like, just talk to me. Just let me know, like, what I need to be doing and today. Like, I was really hit with, like, you need to slow down. And you need to be in the present. And you need to feel. Like, get out of your brain and get here. Get in your body. Like, yes, we have a soul. We have a spirit. We have everything in our heads. But it's like, if you're never in your body and you're never in the present. And you can never just take in everything that's around you and just be here. Like, you're never, you're just always going to be, like, in a rat race with yourself. Being in the present and just feeling, like, I know it sounds so crazy, like, to somebody who probably doesn't have anxiety or, I don't know if I have ADHD, but I, it's something, girl, where I'm just, like, always in my own head. But it just reminds me of, like, when you're little and, like, you're just, you're in your body and you just appreciate everything around you and everything is so big and everything is so, like, just so much better when you're smaller because the world is so new. But if you really think about it, like, the world has been here for so long, like, so freaking long and we are so small still. It doesn't matter how old you are. Like, compared to the world, like, we just need to, like, embrace our surroundings and embrace where we are at right now, not where we're going to be tomorrow. And I feel like the reason why... I feel so convicted of this is because I'm such a go-getter. I'm such an achiever. Like, I feel like I need to be at all times trying to push and reach that next step and reach that next step. But it's like, okay, hold on. In order to get to the next step, you have to appreciate where you're at now and just take it one day at a time. It doesn't have to be five days worth of stuff pushed into one day. Slow down. I don't know who needs to hear this but just slow down. I feel like it kind of reminds me of when people tell you to appreciate when your kids are young because they're not going to be young forever. And then there's some days where I find myself being harder on Prince than others and just like, he should know this by now. Or like, come on, like, you know better than that. Like, he's only four years old. Just like, you don't know everything. Just like, if you, you dr have dropped things before at 24, nobody's perfect. They're little. And like, he has just taught me so much patience and I feel like today was just such like an awakening for me to just slow down, just slow down. Like you are okay. I think the reason why it's also like really affecting me is because after I came back from Miami, I got like really bad anxiety in the club. And I don't know if it was just because I'm not used to being around that scene. I had a lot of alcohol that day, but I had a really bad anxiety attack when I was there. And then when we were on the drive home, I am like very, I'm like a control freak in a sense, like with my own life. Like I have very bad like car paranoia. I'm used to being behind the wheel, but I wasn't the one driving. And I just feel like I was having so many bad thoughts and I was, we had a, a forerunner as our rental and there was like no room. And I just felt like I couldn't breathe. And my thoughts were literally, y'all, my thoughts were literally suffocating me. Like I literally wanted to get out of that car so bad. I don't know if it's because I wasn't behind the wheel. Like nobody was driving crazy or anything, but like my thoughts, like my thoughts and my mind was racing like i just felt like i was like literally about to explode like literally like i don't know like i wanted to come out of my body so bad because i was just so imagine like just like thoughts and memories and and ideas like bad ideas and like everything just flashing in your mind in your mind in your mind and then like it just doesn't stop and it's like starting to overcome you and it feels like you're it's like taking over like that is what was happening to me and I don't know why I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this in here because like I almost get anxiety when people talk about their anxiety so I try not to talk about it but yeah anyways so I feel like because I was so in my head like I couldn't just be in the present and just be like just chill on the ride back because my first thought on the way back from vacation was like you gotta do this and you gotta do this and you gotta do this and you gotta do this but what if this happens just like literally and I also feel like I need to start getting more vitamin d 
because I am outside obviously when I go in and out of my car and whatever but it's not the same as like really getting the sun and I love the sun I just am always like go 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 that I I'm not in the sun. I don't know. I know I'm like ranting at this point, but this is just my experience. This is what I'm going through right now. And I know I've like opened up a little bit before on my channel, especially in my birthday vlog about how overwhelmed I can get. And like this, what I was convicted of today of just slowing down has really, really, really helped me. And I wish I could have heard it. I know I've heard it before, but it's like, I almost have to remind myself of certain things like being more patient, not letting my emotions control me, being in the present and just enjoying life for what it is because you're gonna get to the things that you need to get to, but you have to be here for, can't be here, you need to be here. I'm just rambling and talking to myself at this point, but I don't know, I hope that helps someone, hopefully, because I just... I hate the feeling of like not feeling like you're in control of your own thoughts or emotions and like oh my gosh I just cannot I just don't want to go back to that like mental state it's such a bad mental state to be in and like I know how it feels to go through it and I know it feels like you're alone I feel it feels like nobody's been what you've been through but I'm here to tell you that it's okay everything's gonna be okay just take it one step at a time one step at a time that we'll figure out the rest later if you can't enjoy where you're at it's like also when people look in their past and you look back at old memories and stuff and you're like oh my gosh i wish i could go back there but it's like you don't you in that moment probably weren't enjoying it as much as you should have i feel like when you enjoy the present and you have good memories you know that there's opportunities to make more good memories so you don't really like dwell in the past yeah i don't know my rant is over i'm about to go home i'm about to go take a shower do my makeup make myself feel good even if i'm pale <laughs> wait or i might self tan and put on a pair of silicone tracksuit and wash my hair that sounds like a good idea that's what i'm about to go do and then we're gonna wash the car go get groceries one step at a time there's no need to rush it's like learning to fly or falling in love it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen when you find the reason why one step at a time da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. no literally that's probably why she made that song because everyone is rushing through life trying to get to the next step like i cannot express to you the realization when i was like holy crap i've been up here this whole time never was i here do you see, understand what I, okay I, I probably sound crazy at this point but i don't know it helped me i hope it helps y'all let's go the way you are <laughs> y'all i am feeling so refreshed let me get this washcloth out of my shower it's soaking but i hate when i'm filming and you can like see the washcloth i hate it so we took a shower we self tanned even though it doesn't look like it, it's settling in and i have to do my hands still look at those beautiful gorgeous yummy delicious eyeballs okay anyways i cannot express how crucial it is to work on yourself and like watch videos and all this other stuff because y'all i just had a complete mindset shift like i was watching i was watching i really like Haley gamba and this girl that i just started watching her name is akita i've watched like seven videos in a row okay she has me ready to go today okay um and i need to hurry up and put stuff in my hair before it dries okay hold on because it's already drying oh my goodness that's not good i didn't put any products in my hair yet because oh i just got wet the self tanning girlies no if you get any water on that self tanner it's like you're melting but i washed my hair with the redken acidic money concentrate and then i put a k18 in it once i got out and i didn't put anything in it because i was doing my makeup and i didn't do a full face i still let my um like active breathe or whatever so period i gotta get out all the products this ain't the latest I could get on you bitches. Uh-uh. I wish somebody would call me the B word. Nope. Ain't no way over here, baby. Okay, anyways, I'm putting products in my hair. Right now I'm doing the Kerastase Gold Serum. Um, I really hope this video helps someone because y'all do not... Okay, some of you guys will understand. Like, I was just going through, like... 
some real tough ish in my brain okay and like i just feel so relieved and i'm telling you watch self-care videos about how to be your high self i'm telling you i'm telling you everything that you're experiencing is because of something that's like happening before so it's just like programmed in you i don't know enough about it to speak on on here but those two ladies that i mentioned content top tier one thing about me i can appreciate someone else's content and that's why i love social media so much because i've always been a consumer like i don't just make videos like i also really appreciate other people's content a lot it helps me so much you just gotta find the right content creators for you that's why like i just try not to consume like really messy stuff all the time or like stuff like that i really just try to focus on like how i can be a better version of myself i'm using the way curl cream i will have all of this linked in the uh description box for you guys because girl this stuff is too good all of it it's just like helps so much with my hair pattern which took me a while to figure out but this is the Kerastase gold like elixir this is the one for blondes this is the redken all soft mega curls and then like i just said the way curl cream and then i'm about to use the way air dry foam let me like out of breath over here this ain't the latest i could get on you which is slime you out slime you out what does that even mean Ooh, y'all see how different they look now? Like, excuse me, what? Okay, we need to do a thumbnail. Y'all ready? Hey. One, two, three, say cheese. Hold on. One, two, three. Is it focused? Do you notice me? I don't even know what I'm entitled yet, so that's why I don't really know. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I gotta go get prints. And I need to get some groceries. Oh my gosh. And y'all, these Uggs, hold on. When I tell you guys, I just bought these, but I swear I've already worn them more than like any other shoe that I have. Okay, my EC 500s, I have them in many colors. I wear the crap out of those. But these for the cold, do you see how cute these are? Oh my gosh, I got them off of Amazon. I can put them in my storefront, but y'all, like, these are just the go-tos. Some people probably think they're slippers, but I wear them out, and I wear them everywhere. everywhere. The only thing is, they make you trip, <laughs> just like Crocs, kind of, because of the material on the bottom, but girl, it feels so nice. Hey, how did he do that one, though? I don't know. This ain't the latest I could get on you. What, this? Hold on. Yes, Am I? Is she? No. I'm sorry, but no. Throw that at Okay. Yep. I needed a hoop. I needed a hoop with the tracksuit. Hoops are studs. Okay, I've been wearing my little Chanelis. But. Those drops were not it. That's for like more fancier stuff. I need my cross necklace. Where is it? I have to tell y'all what I just heard in the video that like, it made me like wanna smack myself in the face. <laughs> for real, like for real, for real. Okay, so I was watching that the one girl, Vikita, I think that's her name. And in one of her videos, she said, just imagine like the way, to, the way that you talk to yourself, imagine that in your sleep mantra, like what you listen to while you're sleeping to go to sleep. And I said, oh no. I was just looking at myself talking like this in the mirror, please. Oh my gosh, like that is crucial for the thoughts that I used to have. Like, no, mm -mm. can't do it, can't do it. Not over here, we won't. And then also she just talks about like just being the alter ego version of yourself. Like whoever you want to be, just be that person. <laughs> Hello, like why have I not been doing that? She's been waiting on me all this time. I'm here. Goodness. Like, you don't have to talk to yourself like that. Calm down. Goodness. I'm not serious. This ain't the latest taco. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll it back in. Roll it back in. We need some perfume. Like, you are that girl. I don't know who needs to tell you, but you are that girl. Duh. Like, excuse me? Because I must have forgot. Because I did. This is what we're choosing from. I have nowhere to put my camera, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna figure it out together. I'm sorry. But this is just not... Mm -mm. Nope. Ooh, I'm feeling like a YSL black opium. That's what I'm feeling right now. And that's a statement. 
y'all why am i so hype like i don't know like it was just like okay i'm washing my sheets so not too much but it was just like a self-realization like girl you can have fun with yourself you can be you're, you can be you at all times because i just sometimes i'm like i don't know be going through it girl being alone but like you're not alone you're living on jesus okay I'm sorry, but this smells like grandma at first, but then it, it dries down and it smells good. But at first, you'd be like, girl, what are you wearing? <laughs> I need to organize this house, for real. You're so pretty. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But don't do that. <laughs> it's me talking to myself because, girl, sometimes I am so hard on myself for literally zero reason. Like, please calm down. title is because this is just this is just me being me going through it girl on camera goodness it's definitely washing me out maybe because the sun's right there i'm using malibu bronze though if you want to be tan girl this malibu bronze will not disappoint trust me and don't do too much because you might turn orange like i was in miami <laughs> but it works because it was miami don't forget it yeah pre-workout and i am like off the chain baller stop it okay <clears throat> we're leaning on jesus this is why i say getting ready is just like chef's kiss your mood duh okay we're gonna go get princey man and we gotta go wash this car i wish i could look into my own eyes i will wait I can, no, but for real. Like, I feel like I never get to see my eyes in their true state because look, when you get dark, like they don't really look like that. Okay, they look like that. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's enough. The lip liner is crazy, but we just went through the car wash. We're almost done. I signed up for a membership because something's gotta give. Like I have got to get better at how often I wash my car. I'm screaming because it is so loud. This is the first time I've washed this new car, y'all. Oh my gosh. OMG, there was a car like literally right behind me. I gotta turn in this um, paper that I got because the membership that I signed up for. So I'm gonna do that. I also went to the beauty supply. I'm gonna show you guys what I got there. Oh, I hope this camera did not pick up on that because it was playing the Drake album, girl. Be for real. Okay y'all, so it's the next morning. We are having waffles with bacon. I have two boiled eggs with some everything bagel seasoning. And then I have some orange juice, princess chocolate milk with his waffles and bacon. He doesn't want me to show y'all his breakfast. For some reason Prince does not like to show his food sometimes. <laughs> After we eat breakfast, I'm gonna be doing Prince's hair. And then we're gonna go on a walk and then we have to go to the grocery store i need to put up some of the decorations that have just been like sitting around and prince wants to put up the christmas tree so i think we're gonna take down all of the pumpkins and halloween stuff and put up the christmas tree today you want to do that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay y'all really quick i'm gonna show you guys what i got from the beauty supply store so prince always like loses his like caps and like stuff like that so i got him a red one and I got him a gray one so I got those and I want to try to put some beads in his braids so on the end of his braids so I got him some white and clear ones and then I also got some of these like leopard scissors 
I don't know. They're shears for hair, but I can use them for anything. And then I got some of the, the best rubber bands are at the beauty supply. Like the ones that I have at Walmart and Target are not it. Like these will not break the ones at Target and Walmart will. So I got some clear ones for my hair. And I got some black ones for Prince's hair. And then I also got these rubber bands for my hair. It says that they are damage free, break proof, and long lasting. And they look like this. They have like these little balls on them. And I need damage free hair bands. So I needed those. They also have so much more like cute stuff at the beauty supply store. Like, girl, you could have a whole shopping spree there for real. I really only need these for today. I'm gonna start on Princess hair. I'm gonna show you guys the process and let's get right into it because this takes a while. Okay, so this is what his hair is looking like right now. They're in pretty big sections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each section and I'm just gonna use these same parts because girl, it saves you time. And I'm probably just gonna like, like do three sections here down. So it'll be two, two and two. And then right here, I'll probably do the same thing, two, two, and two, because when you do bigger braids, they don't last as long. Like his hair's only been like this for like, what, a week or so? But when I do small braids, like it can last up to a month. Like the smaller, the better, but it is more time consuming. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start. You excited, Prince? Yeah, Prince loves getting his hair braided. Like he doesn't love getting it braided, but he loves the after of getting it braided, so. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy mommy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Juicy, are you saying hey? He's a sweet girl. Look at how I started from the street. Look at how I started from the ghetto. This I will never make it be. Me, I tell them, say, I don't know. Look at me, I started from the street. Look at me, I started from the ghetto. This I will never make it be. Me, I tell them, say, oh. Me go the money, sweet recovery, treat me a pray. Me telling God everything me I need. Me I tell you God make the bless me still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I know get all these people go laugh for me. All these people go use me play. May God they bless me and my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Nobody fi be somebody. Somebody fi be nobody. Never look down or no. Aye, aye, aye. Nobody fi be somebody. Somebody fi be nobody. Never look down or no. But me a make class on a low, on a low. Me a wanna turn up on a low, on a low. Me a wanna get to the door, on the Me a wanna shine on the low, on a low. Me a wanna turn up on the low, on a low. Me I wanna shine on the low, on the Me I wanna catch you the door, catch the door. Me I wanna turn up on the low, on the low. Damn, wish my eyes don't see. Me I know fi talk on. Me I know fi and I'm yeah 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 yeah. Damn, wish my eyes don't see. Me I know fi talk on. Me I know fi and I'm yeah 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 yeah. They say money in a vanity up on vanity. If you know to get in a calamity, brother, this life in a spirituality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say money in a vanity up on vanity. If you know to get in a calamity, brother, this life in a spirituality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Nobody fi be somebody. Somebody fi be nobody. Never look down or no. Aye. Aye, aye, nobody fi be somebody Somebody fi be nobody Never look down on no bus Me a make a shit on you, on a low Me a wanna turn up on the low, on a low Me a wanna get to the dope, on a low Me a wanna shine on the low, on a low Me a wanna turn up on the low, on a low Me a wanna shine on the low, on a low Me a wanna get to the dope, on a low Me a wanna turn up on the low, on a low Okay, y'all, so we came to Tzatziki's. I got some chicken. I'm not gonna lie, it's not hitting like it was last time. And I also got a salad and some potatoes. And this is like, I don't know if this is pita or what, but it's good. Okay, y'all, so I ended up going grocery shopping. Honestly, not gonna lie, after I ate tzatziki's and that chicken was just not it, like, 
I literally had to send the chicken back because it, there was it was like pink and that it was squishy and I was like I physically cannot eat this like normally like I'll try to eat it and if it's not good I'm like okay whatever but no like it genuinely tasted so disgusting like it was not made right so I got them to remake it again and it was just squishy and ugh, I just could not so I ate my Caesar salad and I ate my potatoes and then I was like am I really about to go to the grocery store at seven o'clock at night when it's dark outside Am I really about to do that? But then I was like, tomorrow, like I'm trying to go to church and then I'm trying to come back and like clean the house and put the Christmas tree up and like all that. So I was like, girl, just do it tonight. You'll be glad if you do it tonight. Cause if you go home now, like, yeah, you're gonna be able to go to bed earlier, but you're still gonna have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So anyways, went to Harris Teeter. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Prince has been off the chain all day, y'all. Acting like Miles Morales and Spider-Man all in one. like. At this point, I'm convinced that he's just Spider-Man, who is Prince at this point. Okay, so this is an overview of everything. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna start over here. So I got some little chicken wings for the air fryer, and then I got some um, thin sliced chicken. I got a pineapple, some apples. I got some Brussels sprouts. They were buy one, get one, so I got two. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of greens. I'm trying to eat more whole foods, but I really don't know what to eat, so I'm trying, girl. I got some lemons, some tomatoes, cucumbers, some romaine. I also got some Oikos Pro because y'all, I'm pretty sure boiled eggs are literally what is breaking me out. Like, what the hell? Okay, anyways. Okay, then I got this honey crisp apple pie granola, y'all. This is hands down the best granola you will ever taste in your life. Like, I'm, I swear. I got Prince some Rice Krispies for school. Then Prince picked out these. I said, have you ever even had those? He said, no. I said, okay, period. So then um, I told him to pick up some gummies. He got these bluey ones. One thing about Prince, he's gonna eat a PB&J. He loves peanut butter and jelly, so I got him some of these. <laughs> he's over there nodding his head. I got some of this Baja Citrus um, seasoning because it looks so good. Then I got some bananas, some strawberries, onions, even though I literally did not need more onions. Like, you ogre. Goodness. I got some of this uh, oat milk. And then I got some coffee. This big old thing of peanut butter, cause yes, we need the peanut butter. I got some chipotle pepper seasoning, smoky applewood, some beef jerky, rice cakes. I got these, this lemon uh, balsamic broccoli cauliflower thing and then it was like a sale, so I got the, that too. Then I got my favorite coconut jasmine rice, but I know it's not the healthiest, so then I got this one to just try it, even though I know I'm not gonna like it. I got some bread, sweet potatoes, um, these freezer bags were on sale, I got some pomegranate seeds, yummy, those are so good, some orange juice, some applesauce, and some potatoes, and that's everything that I got, girl. I'm really about to make me a coffee and put all of this away and empty out the fridge and everything, and then me and Prince are gonna hit the road and go to sleep. I'm tired, and I'm trying to go to, I wanna go to church tomorrow, but I wanna try a different church, the church that I went to a couple weeks ago, it was like, it's like one church, but there's different campuses, and I want to go to the main campus, so yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. My little brother's not answering me, but even if he doesn't want to go with me, I'm going to go by myself with Prince. It's just stressful because Prince does not like going into the church with the loud auditorium, like he freaks out, but then he also freaks out having to go to the kids section so i don't know we'll figure it out but i really need to go to church tomorrow y'all like i need it for the soul okay um but yeah so i'm gonna put all this up and i will see you guys tomorrow okay y'all so me and my brother went to church and it was such a good service i cried my heart out because it was just about how there's so much purpose in the pain that we go through and girl <clears throat> at one point he said and I just want to pray over the parents and he was like raise your hand if you're a parent and you guys know <laughs> you guys know so baby girl was boohooing okay um but my makeup stayed strong I mean it came off a little bit right here but period huda beauty powder and mac fix plus like it's still on strong outfit pictures are up on my instagram so you guys go check that out if you guys have been wanting to find a new church please i beg of you to like just look up like five star churches around you go try them out and if you like one but you're like uh that was really good but like 
I kind of want something a little more like bigger or whatever. Try it out, girl, because I feel like I found the church for me. Like, oh my gosh, that church was so nice and just, oh my gosh, it just really felt like home. So yeah, but, and then me and my little brother, we went and ate at Denny's. And now I'm going to put on this white shirt and start cleaning because I need to reset before the week. Prince is taking a little nap. So yeah, I'm gonna go make me some coffee again. <laughs> I had coffee this morning, but I need some more. So I'm gonna make me some more coffee, turn on some music and just start resetting. I feel so much better and yeah. So it is currently 9.33. I got Prince a bath. He's in bed. I've cleaned my whole bathroom, Prince's whole bathroom. I vacuumed my room. I finally cleaned my makeup brushes. You guys do not understand. The makeup that was in these brushes was probably in there for a year. And I wonder why I'm breaking out so bad. Like, girl, you wonder why. Anyways, so I got that done. I've been watching Lewis House video do this for nine days to manifest your dream life in 2023. I am almost two hours in. It's 30 or it's three hours long and it's so good so far. But I'm gonna show you guys my bathroom and my room now that it's clean and ready for the week because I'm ready to freaking lay down. So I mop my floors also with pine salt. It smells so good in here. Like I said, the makeup brushes, clean my shower. It's all clean. I put my towel up there because I'm about to shower. I took out my trash. Let me turn on my light so I can show you guys my room. So this is what my room looks like right now. I need to tackle, um, my dresser's pretty clean. I need to tackle this part of my room because it just has like all of my it just has like all my old playboy bunny pictures and stuff that i need to put up that i have not gotten to and prince also has some stuff that i need to put up and i need to hang some stuff up downstairs so hopefully i can get to that this week we are gonna see i need to sit down and go in my planner and write down what i want to get done this week my hands feel so dry from like all the bleach and everything but i'm gonna go take a shower see you guys when i see you guys okay y'all so that is gonna be the end for this video i know this video was kind of a bumpy ride but a very happy ending i learned a lot throughout filming those last couple days and i'm so grateful for my experience of being able to share with you guys Guys and just show you guys my experience because I am a regular human being just like everyone else and 
I want to normalize not being okay sometimes because life is not perfect but as long as you're working towards a better future and a better mental state and a better better all the way around that's all that matters but yeah be kind to yourself remember if you wouldn't want what you're saying to yourself to be replaying while you're sleeping don't say those things to yourself and be your higher self now you don't have to wait for some magical date to finally become your higher self and that is all for this video i love you guys so so much if you guys have any other video ideas for me please leave them down below i love you guys so so much make sure you check out those um pictures on my instagram jade amber with four r's and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye